Well, we continue to have the Rock Springs Tigers as a featured big school game of the week participant. Third straight week, top rank this time top rank Rock Springs on the road at second rank Sheridan. Mark Linhart, the head coach, joins me. And well, Mark, another big win for your ball club last week. Although we talked about that and the fact that if Cam Burkett did not play for Kelly Walsh, it was going to be a little bit of a different game, and it kind of turned out that way, don't you think? Yeah, no, and and it was one of those situations where. You know, you never want to see a kid injured or hurt, but I understand where Coach McKelkey's coming from, and it's still early in the season, and you don't want to lose your lose your best player to a nagging injury for the remainder of the year. So they decided to hold him out, and uh, you know, and, and credit to our kids because you can only play against who shows up, and I thought our guys showed up and played really well from the get go. I was going to say you guys really dominated that game. How, how nice was it to see continued improvement? Because let's let's face it. Every coach wants to see continued improvement throughout the season. And that's something that we're still trying to, to emphasize right now. And then regardless of how this game goes this week, you know, we're still looking at trying to get better and continue to improve day in and day out. And uh, hopefully we can keep doing that. Brock Bider, another big game for him last week. What you see in his play? Uh, he's just been steady. He's doing exactly what we're asking him to do. He's not turning the ball over. He's not making mistakes. Um, you know, there's times where maybe we'll call a play and it, and it doesn't work out exactly the way we want it to, and then he's making plays with his feet to extend drives or to score. And so, you know, that, that added dimension that he's had this year, a little bit more of uh, being able to use his feet has really helped us quite a bit. Is there another area, Mark, that you guys have been really concentrating on in practice that you've seen develop in a positive way here in the last few weeks? Yeah, I think our special teams play has really improved this year overall. I think Jeff Hyatt kicked the ball very, very well for us. Um, I think our coverage teams have been relatively solid. We've had a few mistakes, but for the most part, I like I like the buy-in on those teams, and I like how uh, we're coaching them, and I think that it's uh, simplified, and I also think that we're uh, – doing a better job of, of taking a little bit more pride in those particular units. All right, let's move on to the big matchup. Uh, it's uh, You guys are top ranked in our poll. Sheridan's number two. Talk about what you see with Jeff Mowry's squad. A lot of speed, lots of speed. You know, typical Sheridan, very well coached, uh, very fast. Uh, they're not going to beat themselves. They're not going to make a ton of mistakes. And uh, speaking of special teams, there's just no doubt. I mean, they returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown against Central. They returned the next kickoff down to the 30-yard line. The hidden yardage that they acquire in special teams every week is really, in my opinion, their winning edge. Uh, you know, defensively, they're not going to uh, gamble a ton. They're going to make you march it and put together long drives, and they don't give up a ton of big plays. And then offensively, they produce a bunch of them with their speed. So. This is going to be a very, very tough game, and we all know how well Sheridan plays at their own facility. Um, it's a long road trip for us, and uh, you know it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great challenge for our team. What about defensively? They're number one in 4A, and they continue to be very good, particularly against the run. Not necessarily uh, slacking on the pass either. But what are you seeing from the Sheridan defense, Mark? They're very solid with their technique. They'll run some games and some some twists and stuff up front to try and mess with your blocking schemes. But for the most part, they just play very, very solid. I've never felt like in the, in the two years I've coached against uh, Sheridan that you're going to get them on a bunch of big plays. They're not going to make a ton of mistakes. They're very sound in what they do. And so you have to stay patient as a play caller. And, our, and offensively, we have to try and, you know, create yards after catches and, uh, you know, break a tackle because they're going to get a guy in position to make a play. And hopefully we can find a way to get one of our better guys on uh, maybe a guy of theirs who isn't quite as good as one of ours. So I, I think more than anything, they're not going to make a ton of mistakes because they're so well coached. Well, it's a big game atmosphere always when you kind of play at Sheridan. So how do you get your guys to settle in and just kind of play football basically Friday night? Well, we have a pretty veteran crew. We have a group of guys who went there and played a playoff game last year. And so this group of kids has been playing against against those guys since they were freshmen. And so I don't, I don't really see that being as much of an issue. You know, I still think no matter who our opponent is, we have to focus on, on us and, uh, you know, what we're doing and the things that we can control. We know that it'll be a good atmosphere. And 
Uh, I'm glad we're going on the road to play. I think we need to play in hostile environments to try and get ourselves ready for the postseason. And, uh, you know, this is a great, great test for us. Mark, thank you so much again for your time for the third straight week, and best of luck at Sheridan Friday night. All right, thanks, David. We continue our focus on the Wild Preps Big School Game of the Week as voted on by you, the fans. It's the number one versus number two showdown in Class 4 with Rock Springs at Sheridan. And kind enough to take some time on the phone with me is Sheridan head coach Jeff Mowry. And Jeff, you guys off to a terrific start. In fact, uh, heck, you finally gave up some points last week for the first time in three games, I guess. How would you characterize the start that your team's had here to 2021? Coming into our season here, we didn't have a lot of experience on both sides of the ball. We returned one starter two starters on defense and two starters on offense. And one of those starters on offense is on crutches this fall, unfortunately. And so we really had to find our identity. And I think we continue to find that through week three. What are we strong at? You know, we've we've tried a little bit of everything, trying to find out where our strengths and weaknesses are. And I think we're starting to come into our own and and, uh, develop and gel as a team together. And so it's been a fun three games, but I look to continue to grow uh, against Rock Springs this week and, and continue to find exactly who we are so that we can continue to strengthen that throughout the season. Well, speaking of strengths, you've got to love how your defense is playing so far. What have you seen from your squad on that side of the ball? Especially in the first couple of weeks, turnovers were huge for us. We really uh, capitalized on turnovers, and we were big-time pluses in the the turnover category. And especially early on, turnovers and special teams are such a huge role in those early on games that we were able to capitalize with great field position. Our defense was taking advantage of of a loose ball and, and getting the ball out, and we were able to recover and get points on the board. And so... Really, really pleased with that. We've got to continue to do that to, uh, and take advantage of uh, opportunities when we have them. So have you been pleased with your offense in terms of you know, taking advantage of those short fields and, and you know, capitalizing on those turnovers? Yeah, for the most part, we've really done a nice job. When we've had good field position, we've take, taken advantage of, of it with points. There's been a couple times where we've either missed a field goal or, or turned it back over. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's really been a clean execution uh, when we get those short field and we got to love that as an offense when we have that opportunity we'll talk a little bit about has anything surprised you about your group so far i've really been pleased with some of our young guys stepping up uh, dom Kazas is a young man that didn't play a lot of varsity ball last year and uh, has really stepped up and had a big impact this year and so it's people like that that you know you're not expecting we, we have those guys that uh, coming in the season you know are going to be significant players for you and and those guys continue to develop and are strong players but really, some of those young guys coming on and playing pivotal roles for us. Uh, Chance Larson is a guy that moved down from linebacker to defensive interior line and does a nice job for us. Those guys have really stepped up and found roles within our team that uh, help us solidify ourselves down the road. Is it nice to have kind of a little bit of an anchor, a guy that didn't necessarily start for you early last year, but he kind of came on as the year progressed? And I'm talking about Colson Kuhn and just what he provides for your offense to kind of start that running game up. Absolutely. Colson's a phenomenal young football player in his junior year here, and he got some varsity experience last year. And As the year went on, gained more and more experience, and that experience has proven to be helpful for him. He understands the speed of the game now as a junior and and has really um, early on in the year done a nice job of adjusting to that speed and, and is a you know, a critical role within our offense at running back, but we'll also split him out. And then has also played significant minutes for us at linebacker on defense. He's a good young football player. I'm excited to see how he continues to grow. I think all of us around the state are wondering how many more Coon members in the family there are up there. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, of course, Jeff, but yeah, I know you've, you've got to be happy with that. But let's talk about the big matchup here. Rock Springs, what do you look at when you see Coach Linhart's squad coming to town? Well, first off, you know that um, if anybody knows Coach Lenhart, they're a very well, very well coached football team, and he's got some great assistants that you know he relies on heavily. But Coach Lenhart always puts a, puts his best effort and puts a, a great product on the field, and um, this year's no exception. In fact, I think this is probably his his best start at Rock Springs. Um, and he's got some phenomenal athletes. You know, one of them's already committed to the University of Wyoming, and, and a talented young man there uh, is Isaac, and so. You know, he's got a a tremendous squad coming to town, and and, uh, it's going to be a battle. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, you guys picked him as a game of the week, and I think that's that's fitting. It's going to be a challenge, and it's going to be a battle here in Sheridan between two good football teams. So without giving away the game plan, Jeff, what do you need to see out of your team to kind of tip the scales in your favor? 
Oh, I think I think what we've mentioned so far is is uh, special teams and turnovers will be absolutely huge in, in this game. As those are big momentum shifting plays, and it, and whoever can capitalize on those is going to have a, a little lead. Um, I'd also say tackling is going to be critical. We both have uh, guys that can break big plays, uh, both on on both of our offenses, and whoever can keep them corralled and keep the ball in front of them is, is going to be in a good position. Um, we've got to make their offense, which has been dynamic, uh, make them drive the field and then put a long field in front of them. Um, if we give them short field, we're going to have a tough time. And I've been asking coaches this, Jeff, but this is a one-two showdown. This is a big game atmosphere, and I know coaches always like to say, hey, it's just another game, but do you feel like your kids get up for a, a big game like this this early in the season? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I – uh, <laughs> I don't know a high school kid that doesn't get up for a football game no matter what week it is. And so, um, you know, our, our guys are really excited to play. And, you know, it seems like Monday through Thursday takes forever for them. And then Friday's finally here and they are just jacked. It's a, you know, here, here working with the kids in Sheridan, it's a great group of young men that I get to work with every day. And, and uh, they're for phenomenal families and, and players. And so it, it's fun to watch them get excited about the game. And they know how big of a matchup this is. You know, they see the newspaper articles about getting a commit to the University of Wyoming, and he's 6'5", 220, and, and their dynamic offense that they've put up numbers for. Our guys are excited for the challenge, you know. Um, it's excited to get – it's easy to get excited for a 1-2 matchup like this, and, and it's what you've got to want. Um, you know, this this game will have impacts on seeding into the playoffs, and, uh, you know, we're excited for the opportunity to be in this, in this uh, position so that we can put ourselves in a good spot going down the road. Um, I think the best competition you can have is is against the best, and I think we have the best coming to town, and and, uh, I look forward to seeing us step up to the challenge. Jeff, with that, I will let you go. Greatly appreciate your time today. Best of luck Friday against the Tigers. Thanks, Dave. Have a good one.